to my channel magnolia budgets or if you're new hello welcome i am so glad to have you here today we do all things cash stuffing budget planning savings challenges and honestly just all things dealing with money and of course we come here to chat so you guys for today's video i'll be stuffing my savings challenges my boyfriend is not stuffing his today he will stuff his in one of the upcoming next videos he stuffs when he wants to stuff you guys um we went on vacation and so he didn't have his paycheck in time for when i um needed to record this video so i have to continue on and move forward all right you guys so let's go ahead and see how much money we'll be cash stuffing today it should be a quick video so we have 20 40 60 80 150 70 75 so 50 175 76 77 78 79 80 81 so 181 dollars is what we'll be stuffing today all right so starting with the emergency we will not be stuffing anything but we will go ahead and count and then we will be moving this money to the bank and starting our new save with bestie 1k savings challenge so 1 2 3 20 40 so 340 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. So 3, 61. And I want to say in one of my previous videos, I told y'all that I took money from my nails out of savings. But it was actually emergency is what I took it out of. Because y'all know we had 400 and something in here. So it was emergency. So this is the new 1K, you know, savings challenge that me and a ton of other besties will be doing together for 2023 so pretty much it just saves one thousand dollars um and so you have four spots that you need to do per month so one spot a week um of course if you get paid bi-weekly then you would just fill in two spots so i would fill in like a big number and a small number so to speak because they're all low numbers so i love this savings challenge because it is so doable and it's low income or high income but this is what's going to help me save my one thousand dollars for my emergency fund i'm going to try my best to stick with it and do it every single week um so i'm so super excited about this and i want to get my boyfriend on board with doing this too but i'm just not sure if he will start when i start because he is still trying to finish up his pink x budget savings challenge so but yeah so this is so super cool i love it so um it's i think a bestie had left a comment on instagram saying they wanted a savings challenge where you know it's just like four you know or one e enough for per week not like um this one so they don't really like saving challenges like this where you have like 15 spots for the full month um i like both so you know i'm either or um but i wanted to make a savings challenge for the besties who like it this way and i really love it this way too it is so super cool because we can all do it together right and keep track of it so um y'all have probably i'm not sure i have already started y'all or i don't know um but i am like a week behind when y'all see this video so y'all have seen the previous um weeks check right so i will be a week behind y'all if y'all have already started it um so when y'all see me stuff this one it will be next week so i'm so super excited about this so i just have it in there because i already had it cut out and everything and i didn't want to forget about it so i went on ahead and put it in there so y'all know i went and bought um my furniture you guys so we need 52 dollars in here so 51 and 2 so I have, let me show y'all. So my $1,300 savings challenge and my $2,000 savings challenge is empty because I paid $4,000 down. So my total was about $7,500. So I got nine pieces. I got the, like the couch. I got the love seat. I got the single person chair. It's all power like so it's you know it reclines and everything it's leather i got two side tables a coffee table two lamps and then i also at the last minute decided to get a rug so i got the whole package for seventy five hundred dollars so i went on ahead and put down four thousand dollars 
so I still owe about 3500 right? Um, luckily, I did not have to touch my $1,000 savings challenge, so that is still there. Um, and this is what we have left from my other savings challenges. I'm going to go ahead and add the 40 into my 2000 for my $2,000 savings challenge as well because I am just combining it all and then we will move this money to my furniture savings challenge so one two three hundred twenty forty sixty eighty four twenty forty sixty eighty five twenty forty sixty eighty six six fifty seventy ninety seven ten thirty uh seven twenty thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three so seven hundred and thirty three 733 is what we have. Um, so we have completed the 52 weeks and the $2,000 savings challenge. Now my boyfriend still has to give me $25 to finish up the $1,300 savings challenge. Like I said, he has not gotten his paycheck yet. So whenever he gets that, then he will go ahead and give me the $25 and then I will add it to this. But this money will be going to my mini savings challenge binder. And it will be going into the furniture savings channel. So I've already started it, of course. Um, and so all that money will go into here for me to save up. Um, now the money that I'm putting in, I probably will go ahead and use for the monthly payments. Because I will be doing monthly payments for a little bit. And then I'll probably go ahead and finish up the bill. Because I don't really like to have payments, guys. Okay? Besides my car payment. And then my monthly bills. But I don't want to have any kind of payment on furniture or anything like that. So my $1,000 savings challenge gets $89. So $20, $40, $60, $80. So $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000,
then that means I would have only saved $4,458. So I know I can do that part because that's how much I would save without this challenge, right? So without the $1,300 saving challenge, I would be able to save $4,458. So I would have to come up with $592 more. So I'm really trying to decide if I'm going to be able to do that or not. Um, I don't even know if I want to do like a great big old challenge like that. Um, we shall see in 2023. We don't know what we're going to do, right? Um, and so this is my Christmas envelope. So let me go ahead and count this one. Let's see how much we have. So 20, 40, 65, 56. So we have 56. Oops. And like I said, I did turn in the money, the coins, like all my coins that I had saved all year, and it was $162. I took 40 of it and used it to finish up my $1,000 savings challenge. And then, um, so I have a little bit of money left. So about $122 left. So I may be adding that to Christmas. I'm not sure yet. So um, I probably will go ahead on and add the money to here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it right now or not. I think if I add it, it'll just be in here. Um, but I'm not going to fill it out because like I said, I still owe $3,500, right? So I'm only going to have $1,000 in about... 1700 and something once I complete this once I add $25 to that so I still need a good you know I still need this thousand dollars so I'm going to be focusing on this so that's why I'm not really sure if I will be able to do that big challenge because I really want to focus on getting out of debt um of course I still have student loan debt I'm not really worried about that right now I'll worry about that whenever they give us an update on the student loan forgiveness if they don't forgive it then that's when I'll work on my student loans but until then girl I'm not worried about no student loan debt okay um <laughs> Uh, here we go. This is my new little cute keychain. We do have keychains on the channel, you guys. Y'all are sleeping on these because these are so super cute. Go get you one, bestie. Okay, I need at least one bestie to go and get them a keychain. One. One bestie. Go get a keychain today, please. Thank you. Love you. All right, so that is it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to your friends all about my channel. Tell them to come on over here and with us, chat with us a little bit. And happy new year! I know that this video is coming out in the new year because it's January 3rd. Um, but I have not actually said that in a video. I know I said it on my community tab on January 1st. Um, but y'all, happy new year. We made it another 365. <laughs> Give it all the glory to God, okay? Um, but you guys. That's it for today's video. Um, I will catch you on the next one. All right. Bye.